Hello everyone. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel Unique Aviation. And in today's video, we are going to discuss much awaited topic that is FedEx system. Okay. So FedEx is actually full authority digital engine control. Okay. So as you can see in the name only, it is engine control system. Okay. That means it is some system that are installed on the engines so that they can control the performance of the engine. Okay. And they can optimize the performance. Optimize means they can uh, give the best performance of the engine. They will assist the engine to give the best performance. Okay. So in this video, we will answer three questions like what is FedEx system, what it does and why it is needed means what changes it brings. Now, once we need to uh, discuss about FedEx, we need to know why it came into civil aviation. What is the requirement that we will discuss and the, at last we will discuss what are the advantages that FedEx has given after it came into the civil aviation. Okay. So first of all, we need to uh, know what is this FedEx system is. So FedEx is actually uh, a system. It, it is an electronic system of the engine. Okay. Like uh, you cannot see by outside. When you open the cowl of the engine, you will see uh, there is one electronic system that is called FedEx system and it controls the operation of the engine. Okay. So now the question comes in mind, how operation then what pilot is doing. So just for example, I'm saying just imagine your brain inside your body okay and your body is the aircraft engine so what your body doing is always signaled by your brain okay like i am doing this uh, uh, hand come uh, up and down or uh, forward and backward so everything is first from my mind signal to my hand then my hand is doing like that okay whatever you are talking whatever you are walking whatever you are eating everything will be signaled by your brain so whatever your brain will signal your body parts will do right Likewise, the FedEx system is installed on the engine. Okay, whatever the pilot will give command, like I need to increase the speed of the aircraft, I need to increase the thrust of the engine, whatever demand the pilot will do, it will always go into the FedEx system. Okay, then FedEx system, like our brain, will do some calculations and all, like what should be the fuel flow, what should be pressure, what should be temperature, everything he will calculate. He will also, sorry, it will also calculate the ambient temperature, pressure density, everything. And then it allows fuel to flow inside the engine. The best fuel that will give the best performance of the engine. Okay. So this is actually FedEx system. Whatever demands pilot will pilot want to do, just he will push the throttle. That's it. After pushing the throttles, now control comes to FedEx. Okay. FedEx will handle each and everything. Input of the pilot, all the ambient condition like temperature, pressure, density of the environment. If there are tailwind, headwind, everything will be calculated by the FedEx. And then FedEx signals some other systems of the engine like fuel flow valve, how it open, how much it will open that. The metered fuel will go inside the engine and the engine will give its best performance. Okay. So this is actually FedEx system. So if you uh, say like FedEx system is actually controlling the engine is the best answer. Okay. Like anything that controls the performance of engine is called FedEx. Okay. And it is totally electronic component. It is not a mechanical component. So now comes our second question that what is the requirement of this FedEx? Why we are using this FedEx? Actually, this answer will you will get once you will go uh, to some history of the civil aviation, you will get to know like earlier there are analog indicators and analog components that are used inside the cockpit and it is very hard for a pilot to consider and concentrate on each and every indicator and the component at a time. Okay, so because we are humans, we have our limitations. Like, for example, we are on 13,000 feet or 25,000 feet or any other height. We cannot calculate each and everything like pressure, density, temperature. And according to that, we can uh, add or subtract the fuel from the cockpit, right? But this electronic system can do because if you see the efficiency of FedEx system, FedEx system is very very much efficient that it will calculate each and every parameter 70 times in a second okay within the second 70 time it calculates each and every parameter of the engine that means it is totally totally efficient it is totally accurate it is not having any type of doubt that fedex can handle the engine very much very much uh, uh, efficient way than the human beings right so because of that only the fedex system came into the picture in the civil aviation and now any of the engine you will see there is a fedex system installed 
because human responses are late like for example you have to increase the throttle okay you have seen the tailwind or headwind you need to increase or decrease the throttle once you will see that tailwind or you will analyze that tailwind then you will calculate how much amount you will you want to increase or decrease then you will decrease right so there is a delay but that chips that are semiconductors they are so much fast than they can do in the fraction of seconds and they can uh, uh, increase the safety of the aircraft aircraft right for example human responses are late and you feel if you response late your action and reaction will come late that can cause the safety uh, safety delay of the aircraft but these chips and these semiconductors this fedex is actually so much fast that it can do within the fraction of seconds so the fedex is actually consisting of three parts okay basic parts that are uh, installed in the fedex system is three first one is eec that is engine electronic control or you can say electronic engine control okay so in, uh, this is actually main component that will calculate each and every uh, things like what are the parameters density pressure temperature everything this is calculated by eec then comes the hmu that is hydromechanical unit it is like our hand or uh, our legs or our mouth like our uh, our brain that is eec will signal like just move or just walk or eat same likewise eec will uh, uh, tell the hmu like what to do like what how much fuel you want to uh, you want to uh, deliver inside the engine what are the temperatures that you need to set each and everything will be calculated by eec and done by hmu okay and the third component is actually alternator that will give power to the fedex system okay that uh, it is an independent power given by the uh, alternator uh, irrespective of the aircraft electrical system okay so it is very much necessary why because there is one problem with the fedex system that it cannot be overrided okay like if pilot want to override the eec or pilot want to uh, override this fedex system he cannot okay so the fedex needs to be have their own power so that in case of failure that it is unaffected from the aircraft electricity okay so this is actually basic three components that are uh, installed that is actually consisting this fedex system and making it so much efficient that each and every uh, jet engine is using it nowadays now it is also very necessary to know the functions of the fedex like what are the functions that fedex will do so very much important function of the fedex is it always control the fuel delivery into the engine okay like whatever the command given the, given by the pilot like it, it has given like 10 percent increase in the fuel rate okay pilot has given the command 10 percent increase in the fuel rate but fedex calculates the environment like temperature is this density is this pressure is, is this so pilot has given 10 percent but engine need only nine percent for its best performance so fedex will deliver only nine percent of the fuel to the engine so that it gives the best performance according to the air uh, according to the pilot input okay it is not like pilot is not giving input pilot is only giving input but that is optimized by the fedex system okay so this is the first function second function is all over the parameters of the engine are checked continuously continuously what uh, if engine is running each and every parameter is continuously checked by the fedex system and if there is any fault that is uh, that is need to be informed uh, to the pilot immediately in on the ecam system the pilot will be notified like this system is failed now okay and you you will be surprised that nowadays the fedex system is so much advanced that the systems are coming uh, they can give the indication of degradation of system like if any system is failed by 70 percent it is degrading it can fail okay in that situation also the message will come on the ecam for the pilot like this system can fail okay so be prepared for it okay so it is actually uh, giving the best safety measures into the civil aviation okay and that is why if you see uh, that uh, civil aviation is very much very much secure than your roads and railways okay this is the reason because technology are used in the civil aviation is actually the best they are using for the performance and safety the next thing is it always record any fault system for maintenance personnel okay like pilot is operated by pilot but maintenance personnel don't know what are the faults that are that are came so the fedex system will record each and every fault on what time on what parameter the fault is so that maintenance personnel can assist and you will be surprised 
you will be uh, very much surprised like uh, what uh, whatever the parameters whether it will be 100 or 1000 each and every parameter is checked 70 times in a second for a FedEx system okay so this is the best part of the FedEx system that it checks each and every parameters every second even 70 times in a second so the chances of error is actually nothing but even though for that also we have redundant system what is redundant system that means there are two FedEx systems is installed on the engine channel A and channel V so one channel will be active throughout the flight and second will be on a standby like if channel A fails channel B takes over and if uh, channel B is activated then if channel B fails that channel A will take over so one is active and other one will be standby so now comes our th third question that what are the advantages of this FedEx system and what are the disadvantages. So first we will talk about advantages. The first advantage of this FedEx system is actually fuel efficiency. See every airline that are operating uh, in this world is actually a business okay and everybody needs profit and one profit will come when they will generate more and more revenue eh? okay and in aviation if you are an aviator you must know that uh, the the huge part of the revenue of an airline is actually fuel cost okay so if your aircraft is fuel efficient obviously you will get more revenue more profit the second one is actually the protection of envelope what is what it means it means that the fedec know that operating limit of engine okay that this is the limit and it never exceed that limit okay third one is flight safety so if that engine is always uh, on its optimized state that is in uh, in its uh, fuel efficiency it will never cross the safety line okay that means the engine become very safe when it is under control of fedex system and the fourth one is the relief to the pilot like now pilot no need to uh, concentrate each and every parameter of engine now he can concentrate other things that is necessary so the, these are the advantages if you talk about disadvantages in my mind only one disadvantage is actually the manual override okay so like uh, pilot cannot do the manual override okay so that is the disadvantage in my point of view if you are having any other you can comment second one is like uh, human is human okay this is electronic system so it can fail anytime but human is human but for that also we have disadvantages like we have delay responses and each and everything so for in my point of view only this manual override is actually the disadvantage of fedex system okay so uh, this is the thing that i need to share in this video if you like the video please hit the like share it with your friends so that everyone can get the benefits